Now that we are power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I am Stormrunner Gaming, and today behind me, what I've got is a aircraft engine. And a lot of you have probably seen this, but what I've got connected to it is a whole mess of logic that makes that gearbox right there an automatic gearbox or automatic transmission, whichever way you want to say it. And I am going to be breaking it down and building it for you guys here. I'm not just going to show you what is happening, but I am going to leave my dials and everything connected. So what you're going to need to build this, you're going to need a numerical switch box, um, a threshold gate, a number value, as well as you're going to need a T-piece pipe, a torque meter, you're also going to need a gearbox, let me grab one of those, and you're also going to need the piping with the propeller you want to put at the end of it and you guys can quickly copy this right here we have a clutch at the beginning with a t section and then a torque meter on top of that and then we have a gearbox right after that pointing towards your engine of course and then this torque meter right here is definitely not needed i'm going to repeat that again it's definitely not needed for this system you can connect this propeller directly up to the end of this gearbox if you want it as compact as possible but i was putting it here to run some values over to my displays over here to show you guys or i'm going to show you guys the output of it and show you that the gearbox the automated gearbox is actually working when it is switching the values and um, doubling the output of rps from the system but now i'm going to be showing you guys how to build this little system and i'm actually going to delete all of this so we start fresh and we're going to be putting down three threshold gates here, one numerical switch box, and a number. And we're going to be connecting that up to a couple different spots. We're going to take the torque meter, the rotations per second off of the torque meter, and connect it to two threshold gates here. And then those threshold gates are going to be connecting up to... They're going to be connecting up to a... Um, a memory registrar. I just realized, guys, that I put down the wrong thing here. It wasn't actually a memory bit. It was actually a numerical switch box, but I have fixed that error now. And we are now going to connect together the memory registrar to the number, and that's going to be to the value to store set. And we're also going to connect the stored value over to this threshold gate here. And then you connect that threshold gate right back up to your gearbox. So I'm going to go back over that one more time. We got the two values over to here connected to these two red circles. You've got your number connected to the value to store and the stored value over to your third threshold gate connected up to that gearbox. And I believe, yeah, our gearbox has a one to two ratio there. So now we're going to also have to change up a few of our values here. So for our number here, I'm just going to be putting it at two. I'm going to explain what these numbers mean in a second. But we're going to also take the threshold gate and put a low of one and a high of three. And over here for the threshold gate values, we're going to have to look at where we connect them up. The one that is connected up to clear, we want to set a value between 0 and 20. And for the other one, we're going to set a value of 45 to basically infinity. You want anything over 1000 so that the RPS output of it does not change anything while it is running. But we have all our values set for this. This is actually a working system right here. Granted, yep, everything's got power. And I'm going to go through real quick why we put the numbers where they are. This number right here, all of this number has to be is a value between these numbers you put in here. So if you put like, say 20, you can do between 10 and 30 here. Because this value, this memory bit here is taking this value when these things are called true or false. And then when it says to take the value it does but when the engine is running slower it'll clear that value so then this threshold gate is then false which then turns off the gearbox and so that's how the automatic transmission is actually working here and for these values it's actually going to be differing between the speed you're running at your engine and um 
uh, definitely a couple different situations to where the, the values you'd have to put in for your threshold gates would be different. But right now, um, it's a safe bet you can do like between 0 and 10 because basically this is just your reset to turn off the gearbox before you turn back on the car or when you're going back down to first gear when the engine is at such a low RPS. And this one is when you're running it at a high to an infinite RPS that the um, the gear changer or the logic is going to change your gear up to the second gear. So now we can save that up real quick and spawn it in here and it should be working fine. Alright, we can go out here and start up the engine, putting on fuel and giving it a bit of throttle here. We're only going to throttle up to around 50% and I'm going to show you why in one second. So now once we've got it at a about 50% throttle and the revolutions per second is at 33 right now and you see our propeller is running and the first and second values of torque and RPS from the two torque meters are exactly the same and because this is not changed but once we start pushing our throttle meter further and further up this RPS is going to keep going up and up until it hits the point where it hits 45 which is the value we set over there for the automated gearbox and if we push it a little bit faster we're going to see it change over and now the RPS has gone down but now we push it in the second gear and one of the things to take note if you are creating your own values for this you have to make sure that when it hits that next gear that the RPS is not too low to where it'll switch back the first gear here uh, I've had that problem once or twice before where I've had to switch over my values for the um, small engine and my automated gearbox, but yeah, just make sure your values are pretty good for that and you should not have any problems and you can push that to max speed and of course having this gearbox, it actually saves you fuel for some reason. I guess lower RPS is means the engine's running slower with the gearbox acting on it. Of course, if you guys are trying to replicate what I've done here for yourselves, I did take the aircraft engine and throw its RPS limiter all the way up to 100, and I do have a um, um, a water reusal type of system where it's got a huge tank of water but cooling in it as well, so that um, it'll actually cool the water. And I do have my um, my threshold gate running the temperature, so I just don't have to press that button because. I'm a very forgetful person, and this means I never have to actually turn on the cooling. Whenever the engine hits over 20 here, the pumps here will turn on and yeah, it will cool the engine, which is a really nice system. And if you guys don't use that, it's actually pretty good because you, um, like I was saying earlier, you don't have to remember to turn on the button for um, pumps to cool your engine. It'll automatically do it once the engine gets hot enough. And if you're running it off a tank, it will save. Um, It'll save water because you're not using all the water at once. You're only using it once it hits a certain temperature. But I am getting a little bit off track here. So that is about all the time I have for today. I know this is a bit of a complicated system. I'm probably going to be getting into more and different logic systems in the future. So if you guys do need any help finding any problems with your builds, you can, of course, leave a comment down below on this video. Also, I have the link on the channel to my community Discord that there's a lot of Stormworks players on there as well. So we have a couple other people other than myself that can probably help you out with any problems you're having with this. But, of course, if you guys like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But, I've never been great. Goodbye, so many people need me, and I need to go.